You are listening to the Call to Action podcast, where we aim to inspire, educate, and inform entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips related to navigating this ever-changing world. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to episode 12 of the Call to Action podcast. My name is Shantae and I am the host as well as the person who runs the blog on ctamarketing.biz. And today I have some very useful information as always. But before we get started, I would like to share today's motivational quote, which is from Brett Harris. Here is today's motivational quote for episode 12 of the Call to Action podcast. When ordinary people decide to step out and be part of something big, that's when they become extraordinary. Everyone, I challenge you, if you're feeling ordinary, if you think you're ordinary, become extraordinary. Step out and be a part of something big so that you can become extraordinary. Now let's move forward into today's topic. And this is probably something that you may have thought about, but not in this manner. So what I want to share with you is a thought that I had about social media and how we are using it today. Let me give you some interesting stats about social media. This may help to put things into perspective, but I did this research and I got this from a site called brandwatch.com. What I found on that site is that there are 3.499 billion active social media users. On average, people have 7.6 social media accounts. That's a lot of social media use. So the question that I have for you today is social media, the new search engine. Keeping those stats in mind, Let's really take a look at this topic. Is social media the new search engine? Think about how you have used social media maybe in the past month, and then think about how you've used it in the past three to six months, and then compare that to how you used it when you first started using social media. If you're around a while ago, years ago, when MySpace was around, then it was more about the person talking about themselves and what they do, but now brands, companies have started to use social media because they're looking at it as a way to promote their products or services. Now, taking into consideration the numbers that I previously shared about the number of social media users that there are, I'm going to share something else with you too. The average daily time spent on social media is 142 minutes a day. So what do you think people are doing on social media? They're using it to search. Some people are sharing information about themselves and what they do, just as I described in the early days of MySpace. But now people are not only sharing what they do, you have companies now sharing what they do, and people are looking and researching companies using social media. How does your brand look to customers? Taking that information that I just shared into consideration, I now challenge you to look at how does your brand or your product or your service look to customers or look to consumers when they're looking at it through social media. Consumers now have the freedom to look up and research a product before they make a purchase. They're doing this by way of YouTube. They're doing this by way of Twitter and Instagram. These are the top three that I chose because they have a lot of users. For example, more than half of the views from YouTube are from mobile devices. People are using their mobile devices, their smartphones, their tablets, they're on the go. So at their fingertips, they could be in the store ready to make a purchase and can look up a product or service. There are 500 million tweets sent per day, which is about 6,000 tweets every second. 
and 65.8% of U.S. companies with 100 or more employees use Twitter for marketing. If they're using Twitter for marketing and you have tons of people using social media, you have to know as a brand, or at least think about this, or as a business, are people really looking for information about my business on social media? I'm gonna tell you yes. There's just so much information out here that proves this, that people are using social media in many ways. And a lot of them are using it to research brands and companies. So what I'm gonna do now is give you three ways to enhance your presence on social media for consumers or for potential consumers, keeping in mind that people are using their mobile device to research companies to see what the product is about. They may look at reviews. You can easily see the chatter or the conversation that's going on on social media because it's public, unless the person that's posting has a private account. But for the most part, this is information that anyone can tap in and see at any time. So I'm gonna give you three things that you can do to enhance your presence on social media as a business or a product owner or as an entrepreneur. Graphics. You can do professional or DIY graphics. You can have a company or hire a graphic designer to create your branding that you use for social media. There's also tools that you can use if you want to do it yourself. One that I mentioned in the previous podcast was Canva. That's a really cool graphics tool that you can use to create your logo, create your social media graphics, and they're pre-formatted for most of the major social media platforms. The second thing that you can do is hashtags. There is a lot of chatter on social media. So when you are using hashtags, that's a way to set your message apart from everyone else's message. When you're using hashtags, do some research on hashtags that may be relevant to your product or service, but then also you do have the liberty to create your own hashtags. If you do that, then make sure that you put that in your description. That way it's really tied to your name or to your social media name or your company name. And then when people are searching, then they're using that hashtag or they see that hashtag, then now that is associated with your brand, your product or your service. The third and final tip I'm gonna give is to make sure that you plan your marketing efforts. If you are going to inform and engage or you may do customer service, which is a really good way to keep your audience engaged and keep your brand in front of people using social media, then make sure that you're planning your effort and also schedule. There's tools out there that you can use to schedule your social media planning. If you are using Instagram, for example, there's an app called Planoli that you can do. It's on your desktop and also on your phone. If you're using Twitter, then you can use TweetDeck to schedule your tweets for Twitter. And you can include graphics, you can include your links to your different products or services, but it just makes it really easy to be able to connect with your customers or your potential customers and other consumers, but planning plays a big part when you're using social media. So I hope that you have found this podcast to be helpful and informative. And I also challenge you to become extraordinary. Make sure you step out and do something out of the ordinary and be a part of something big so that you can become extraordinary. Until next time. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Call to Action podcast. Make sure to visit me on my blog at ctamarketing.biz. There you can find articles for entrepreneurs and self-starters on tech and tips to help navigate this ever-changing world. Until next time.